everyone myself aniket nikam i am working as assistant professor in the uh, department of computer science and engineering in the hgs i18 and uh, autonomous institute of government of maharashtra i qualified nate for assistant professor in june 2019 so i am going to uh, have this lectures for all of you on the topic uh, database management system especially for the scientist b and technical assistant a post uh, for nic recruitment 2020 so i will take different examples which is asked in previous uh, year of uh, nic as well as nate as well as gate i will cover all the uh, basic concept of database management system that will help you uh, for solving the questions of uh, nic as well as nate and gate especially for database management system and i will also try to uh, conduct the different uh, one uh, some more uh, subject but basically i wish to start with dbms so let's start with the basic concept so now we are going to see the first basic topic functional dependency so that is used in normalization uh, 1nf 2nf 3nf bcnf normalization question uh, every time asked in uh, i uh, saw the question paper it is asked in net nic as well as uh, every year gate exam you will find the questions on functional dependency as well as function on normalization uh, bcnf 3nf bias for normal for form so we are going to study the different examples uh, based on this so before this Uh, the question is asked like this you will given a table and you have to find out the functional dependencies depending on the table so how to identify the functional dependencies given on the uh, like given table so i am going to tell you the very important uh, like easy technique method understand this is a relation in a relational database management system we call this relation uh, r let's say and this relation is having different uh, records so records we call in relation as a tuples So T one, T two, etc. Are the different tables in one relation, and A B you can find out A and B are the two attributes. So now in ER diagram, I am going to tell you, uh, teach you about the ER diagram, conversion of ER diagram into the uh, normalized tables. We are going to study that. But this A and B are the attribute. Let's say the table name can be a student. Let's say the table name is student. Relation is having student. This is one of the entity having different attributes. Let's say one of the attributes is roll number. It is a primary key denoted. Let's say the name and different things like this. So this is one relation having let's say name R and A and B are the two attributes of the relation. Now you have given this example in the table format and you have to find out. Now understand what I have written here. T one and T two are called as tuples. So record are called as tuples in the relational database management system. So now T one having the records. Like T one having the one zero one is a A and B represents A small A again T two representing one zero one as well as A. Now if you have to uh, find out the functional dependency, so basing on that, like what is functional dependency? Understand here this is read as uh, A determines B. So here A is called as determinant as well as B is called as dependent. so you can read like this a determines b or you can say b is dependent on a so that is called as functional dependency you can represent it again alpha and beta format uh, we can represent it in a different way no problem but now if you want to say given relation uh, given table is having functional dependency a determines b if you want to confirm this then how to find out the first way is understand here what i have written If T one and T two agrees here, then in second, in different tuples of the same relation, T one and T two must agree here. Now T one and T two it should be uh, consistent for all the tuples. If T one and T two agrees here, means what? T one and T three also should be agree. T one and T four also should also be agree. And T one and T two must agree here, means what? Uh, all like T one and let's say T three and T four are agree here. Then again T three and T four must agree here. If this happens, then we can see A determines B. In many cases, T1 and T2 will disagree here. Miss what? Let's say T1 and T2 is having 101 and 101. So here you can find out T1 is having 101. Again, T2 is having 101. And it is also followed in the attribute B. Uh, B is uh, for T1, it's A, and for T2, it's A. Miss what? T1 and T2 agrees here. Again, T1 and T2 must agree here. This is followed. Miss what? You can say. That A determines B for this relation. Please note down this table. 
this is this looks very simple but in the examination many question asked and if you don't understand this then you will uh, definitely uh, make it wrong so i will i'm going to tell you the example based on this so if you can write down note down you can say or you can take screenshot please do this so you can see here t1 and t2 and t2 uh, like this table so please if possible note down uh, i'm going to zoom this for all of you so just please note down 